الخلل في الوطن لفكم حر العيش في غبن أهلل في الوطن وهل في الطرف حالكم من عرف العيش في قرف والموت من طرف الطلقة كف كرف الدانة كف كرف الدوشكة كف 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 قلبكو كف نزف لدمو بيترف بوكان لكم حار خلت دمع زرف أبو our nation civil war in a risky situation is it political rules or your dirty goals is it political rules or your dirty goals it was peace love before now opens the store that high score loses many many more this now in Khartoum and it was in Darfur just I'm asking why for is it political rules or your dirty goals is it political rules all your dirty goals. As long as the night run from the south toward the north, the stories of the survivors will be told through the salty kisses and empty hugs to the children. It's a time for us to reclaim the narrative, to rewrite our history. Instead of to write the story of the survivors, we need to write the story of thriving. I want to move. I said, you have to prove. They said, but I've got the groove. I said, you have to improve. They said. I want to dance to take my chance, I say, but no romance, they say. <laughs> we need to reclaim the narrative, to rewrite the Sudani, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dahur, da'ab. Dahur, da'ab. Dahu sabab, dahu sabab. Al galab salam na harbu mahma takhtalif rutab. Anihna sudani nu bas hagiga lek balaki dhib. Awa inta tgul minu. Yibga akhtar lamma inta tgul shinu. Asal la ruhak. Wasal al gaadim maaak. Ya shabab na hey. الحانك شنو تعبنا من عمالة أحزبنا حالة حالة شبابنا في بطالة وإعلامنا بس جوالة والشعب حالته حالة يوم يطلع السجالة يوم يتجلد حوالة ما البلا صار الدلالة <تصفيق> بس قبل ما تخش الدلالة أخت أنت الاتكالة واسأل الله روحك واسأل القاعدين معاك يا شبابنا هي الحانك شنو الحنك شنو؟ هي ما دائرة للتفكير شديد بس النظر يكون بعيد وما بنرفض لما بدأ السبحة فينا ولا طبيعتنا الحنينة بس حاجتنا تبقى جدة بفهم جديد نبقى نبني كلنا نفهم بعض ونحب بعض ونقتنع إنه نحن زي بعض وما عظيم تكون في تاني مشكلة إذا فهمنا أصلا المسألة دحر دعب دحر دعب دحر دعب أبو 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 Civil war in a risky situation. Is it political rules or your dirty goals? Is it political rules or your dirty goals? It was peace like before. Now opens the store. That high score loses many, many more. This now in Khartoum and it was in Darfur. Yes, I'm asking why for? Is it political rules or your dirty goals? Okay, uh, 
Um, so I have two pieces or two poems for you. Um, yeah. There was this girl called Shame, breathtakingly beautiful who I met during my young days. I used to like her a lot. And as children, we dreamt about life and love, which was crazy. In the midst of a civil war, we were children that still dreamed, looked to the future, had hopes of building a home and, and starting a family. But there was a problem. Shame's mother never liked me. So anytime she saw me, she would curse me. One time she went as far as gripping me by the throat and shaking me around because I was 100% southerner and Shane was from both the north and the south. You see, Shane's father was an Arab who came to work in the south and that's where he met her mother. This became a cycle, another child with another man, four different husbands, four different children, of course, none had the same dad. A predicament in which many mothers in the south found themselves in. But as a young warrior, I never feared about such things because all I ever cared about was Shane. To me, she was perfect in every way. And even though her skin tone was a little lighter than mine, she thought like a southerner. Her dislike for the northerners intensified after she was abandoned by her father. So there were times when I had to protect her from men who wanted to abuse her, so I became her knight in shining armor. But when I returned home, I too faced abuse. But what they didn't realize is she's also a victim of the circumstance her in like she didn't ask for this, to be victimized by her own people in her own land or because she doesn't even know her own dad. Sad to think someone like Shane, who is innocent, but treated like a criminal for a crime she didn't commit. That's why to me, shame is everything. That's why I would sacrifice so much just to show the extent of my love, because no matter what happens amongst us, I would do everything I can to save the woman I love. The families in the South region were scattered. All the children were running because soldiers from the North are coming. Now some say they wanted to erase the whole Negro race. So to most, Bashir was a very bad man, but we didn't have no Sudanese and Frank until today. We are dying. We are dying, but we're the ones killing our own. I said we are dying. We are dying, but we're the ones killing our own. Why do we always end up in a military coup? Why can't Sudan be under civilian rule? These were the thoughts as I hid in my room, reminiscing on the stories my brothers told, thinking how ironic that today I stand in their shoes, afraid of what lurks outside, because all I hear is the sound of army troops as they bang on doors, while they turn us into victims of their senseless war leaving us with no choice but to flee. So as we embark on this journey, we find ourselves climbing over bodies, while I hope there are others out there as lucky as me. Although there is nothing lucky about being displaced, we can only thank Allah that we made it out safe, crossing borders into countries with problems of their own. Then I turn to my kids and wonder if they'll ever call the same place home. Because as much as they've witnessed anarchy, to go from Sudan to calling a refugee camp home is a state of tragedy because the word humanity means to care for each other while civilization means to work together to create a better life. But we have failed humanity the day we stop behaving civilized. Thank you. <laughs>